Today is probably one of the biggest games of the year for the Falcons this week, taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Welcome back to Franchise Football, everybody. I'm your host, Husker Eurocat. Both teams are competing for the second place spot in the NFC South, and the Falcons need a win today to stay in the hunt for a playoff wild card. I know after the rocky start to the season, Atlanta seemed destined for a year at the bottom of the NFL and a top draft pick. However, since they changed coordinator staff, things have changed in the Falcons camp and they've come to realize that this season may not be a bust after all. But first, they have to make it past the Bucks. That's not going to be an easy feat. Tom Brady made the Falcons look pretty bad in week two down in Tampa. A lot of things have changed in the weeks since. Can Atlanta return the favor? Let's find out as we take you to the action here on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Giovanni Bernard is back deep for the Buccaneers and Young Way Koo gets us underway here in Atlanta. At the goal line, Bernard takes the ball and he's out past the 25 yard line where Brady and company will take control. Bernard takes it to the right side and there is a flag on the play Looks like holding against the offense. And that is on Alex Kappa, pushing the Buccaneers all the way back to the 21. So first and 17, the pass on its way, caught. Chris Godwin makes the reception out at the 29. So second and eight. Brady back to pass again, almost sacked and throws complete. Rob Gronkowski makes the catch, a 25-yard reception inside Falcon territory and a first down for the Bucs. You can see there on the replay, Harris tried to break it up but just couldn't get it done. So on second and eight, the snap goes back to Brady, throws across the middle, complete. Mike Evans with an eight-yard gain. Matabike jumps and gets back onside. The throw is almost intercepted by Eric Harris. And they're going for it on fourth down. And another incompletion broken up by Harris again. And he is making quite a stand here in today's game. Patterson takes it out to the right. Gets past the 40-yard line for a six-yard gain. Tampa Bay with two men back. The handoff is given to Patterson. Again, he has the first down over midfield and into Tampa Bay territory. Nine yards after contact. So from the Buccaneer 46-yard line, pitch back to Patterson, and he is caught in the backfield by Devin White. A three-yard loss on the play. Ryan takes the snap and throws it over the middle, complete to Geronimo Allison. He had an eight yard pickup. Ryan from the shotgun throws over the middle, hits, makes the catch, but is short of the sticks. So fourth and two, and the Falcons have to punt. From the five yard line. It's second and 10. Godwin on the jet sweep, and he's out past the 10 yard line for a nine yard pickup. Third and one, the pass over the middle, complete to Gronkowski, and he's spun down at the 24 yard line. So on first and 10, Leonard Fournette gets the carry, and he's out past the 30 yard line for a five yard pickup. Markham just shy of the 30, and it's almost intercepted Duran Harmon making the play, and they're going to call defensive pass interference on him. That is going to mean a Buccaneer first down at the 41. 
Brady throws and incomplete intended for Evans on the sideline and that brings up fourth down. The punt on its way. Hits at the five yard line and is downed at the two. And so the Falcons are in deep right now. Handoff to Patterson. Gets all the way out past the nine yard line. They've marked it at the 10, so it's an eight yard pickup. Out of the shotgun, the pass complete. Over the middle to Kyle Pitts. Tackled at the 21 yard line. Now Atlanta with four wide outs. Ryan back to pass, throws, and it's complete. Geronimo Allison catches the ball for a first down at the 38. Under center. Ryan with the play action pass, completes it to Hurst, and he's out to the 44 for a seven yard pickup. So that brings up second and three. Patterson picks up the first down out to the 49 yard line. Atlanta now out of a tight bunch. And the give is to Bryce Love and he makes it inside Buccaneer territory for an eight yard pickup. Another handoff to Love and he gets the first down, stumbles his way all the way past the 35 yard line. Eight yards after contact and after a false start penalty. The Falcons now with a third and 15. The pass over in the middle to Ridley and do they give him the first? Yes, they do. All the way down inside the 24 yard line and that brings us to the end of quarter number one with your score still zero to zero. Now, the handoff to Patterson hit in the backfield by Shaquille Barrett and he only gets a two yard gain on that. The handoff again to Patterson and he makes it all the way inside the 15 yard line. Third and two. And the fake handoff to Patterson. Ryan is on the run and gets sacked. And Damakon Sue gets him back at the 24. So that is going to bring on Youngway Koo for a 41 yard kick. And it's up and through. So finally, well into the second quarter, someone breaks the tie and gets onto the scoreboard. And the Falcons take the lead three to nothing. Down from the 25 yard line, Brady takes it and hands off to Fournette. A big gain, a spin on all the way out to the 46. A big gain and a first down for the Buccaneers. And second down. Second and 10. The pass over the middle to Gronkowski is complete, bringing up third and four. Brady awaiting the snap, a quick throw and an incompletion. He threw it way out front of Godwin. And the punt goes out of bounds at the two. So once again, the Falcons start out deep in their own territory, operating out of the end zone. Barely getting out is Patterson and on third and seven. The pass over the middle is complete to Russell Gage out at the 20 yard line and a first down for the Falcons. Ryan operating back out of the shotgun. Takes the snap, hands off to Patterson again and he struggles and fights his way all the way out to the 27. So now on third and two. Ryan throws, completes this one to Patterson on the outside to the right, and he takes it to the 41. Now on third and five. Back to pass. Ryan completes this. Ridley spins and gets into Buccaneer territory. First down at the 45. 
Second and eight. The pass over the middle. Complete to Pitts inside the 30-yard line for another first down. Falcons. Now Ryan with an empty backfield. Four wide receivers. And finally, he finds an open one down to the 20-yard line goes Allison. So on third and three, the pass complete inside the 10 to Russell Gage. First and goal, and the Falcons are in the red zone for the first time today. Patterson takes it up the middle to the two. That brings us to the two minute warning. So on third and goal, the Falcons give it to Patterson and he is taken down in the backfield. Fourth and goal and they're going for it. Patterson can't get back to the line of scrimmage and the Buccaneers take over at the four. Brady out of the end zone and throws it complete to Bernard and tackled inside the 10 yard line. The clock's still running. Brady back to pass and takes off. He's got a first down and a lot more all the way out to the 25. You're gonna mark him at the 26. And the clock is now down to a minute, eight seconds. Brady back to pass, can't find anybody and is sacked. Backup Steven Means gets to him back at the 20. So the give is to Fournette. Can't get out of the backfield. And the Falcons get it back with 40 seconds to go in the first half. Ryan back to pass. Completes this one short to Patterson and he's into Buccaneer territory. Second and two, 13 seconds. And they give it to Patterson on a run up the middle. And I don't think he made the first down and it doesn't really matter because it's halftime, everybody. Three to nothing is your score. And now with the update, let's go to Eurocat Baby. Welcome to the Toyota Halftime Report. We'll get you back to the Falcons and Buccaneers in a moment. You probably have noticed that Atlanta has Cordero Patterson back on the field for the first time in a long while. Remember back in week eight, the Titans were willing to give up some draft choices in trade for his moving to Nashville. Well, the Atlanta front office was alerted that Tennessee let him go after just a few weeks, and now he's been snapped up out of free agency for what hopefully will be the rest of the season. Another Falcons news, and quite a surprise, following a suspension for violating the NFL policy on the use of performance enhancing substances, running back Puka Williams has been let go from the team. Coach Gill said that the Falcons organization has a no tolerance approach to violations of this type and wish him well in his future endeavors. As a result, running back Justice Hill has been picked up out of free agency as the number three halfback on the Atlanta roster. In today's game, we've seen about as good of a defensive contest as you can get. The Bucks have been held to just 150 yards of offense here in the first half, and that includes only 50 yards through the air by Tom Brady. Can he turn it around for the second half? Stay tuned to find out, because we'll be right back. Welcome back to Atlanta, everyone. If you tuned in for a defensive ball game, <laughs> we're here to satisfy your craving. Neither team is lighting up the scoreboard at this point in the game. The only score has been a 41-yard field goal by Young Way Koo. Have the offenses been able to make the right adjustments in the locker room? Well, let's find out. The Falcons start out in the I formation. The pitch goes out to Bryce Love and he gets taken down at the 20 yard line by Barrett and that is going to bring up second and 15. So out of the shotgun, the pass 
to Pitts is a big gainer all the way out past the 40 yard line for a first down. And now Ryan with an empty backfield again. Throws over the middle short to Patterson and he is out to midfield for a first down. Second and 10, a fake to Love. And this is a pass completed to Hurst and out of bounds at the 38. The Falcons are on the move again. And Devin White with a big play, stopping Love in the backfield. Now second and 12. Ryan back to pass. Doesn't have anybody open and goes down at the 49. Third and 20. Sue with another sack on the afternoon. Ryan throws it deep and overthrows his intended target, Geronimo Allison, and the punt upcoming. Bounces at the two and goes out of bounds inside the one yard line. The handoff to Fournette going right and can't get out of the end zone. Tackled by Tremaine Edmonds for the safety and it's now five to nothing. Both of these defenses putting on a clinic here this afternoon and right now anyway, the Falcons are getting the upper hand. So after the free kick, the Falcons take over at the 39 yard line. The pass short and Russell Gage, a nice spin move in a first down all the way out to midfield. Another pass underneath to Gage and he is inside the 40 yard line for another first down. Ryan, back to pass, can't find anybody, and finally finds Love out of the backfield, and he has another first down. Oop, scratch that. That is a nine yard pickup, though, so third and one. The pass complete to Gage, and he's all the way down to the one yard line before he's stopped. A first and goal situation and another red zone visit for the Falcons. The pass complete in the end zone. Touchdown, Kyle Pitts. So the Falcons take a 12 to nothing lead now. And from the 25 yard line, Brady drops back, rolls to his right, is starting to run and he is tackled in the backfield, Tremaine Edmonds is the first man to get to him, and that will bring up second and 14. Brady all alone in the backfield, throws over the middle to a wide open Rob Gronkowski, a 24 yard gain out to the 45 yard line. Now second and nine. Brady back to pass, complete. Godwin with the reception inside Falcon territory at the 47. Now third and three. Brady back to pass, can't find anybody open and gets back to the line of scrimmage, but that is it. So it's fourth and three and he is injured. Being escorted to the locker room and hopefully that isn't anything serious or the Buccaneers could be in trouble. After a Falcon three and out, Kyle Trask is at the helm. He gives it to Leonard Fournette, who goes up the middle just past the 40 yard line. Now on second and five, pass is complete to Godwin and he gets into Falcon territory just inside the 48. Now into the fourth quarter, second and 10. And a completion out to Gronkowski, who gains four yards. So third and six, the pass out of bounds and very short, six yards to go and fourth down and they're going for it. And it's incomplete. So the Falcons take over and let's go to Eurocat baby for an update. 
I just got news from the Tampa Bay sideline that Tom Brady has seriously strained his non-throwing shoulder and will be out for the rest of this game. In question is his availability for next week's game with the Bills. So Kyle Trask may be seeing a little bit more action than just trying to bring the Buccaneers from behind in this game today. Thank you for that update, and that could seriously impact the rest of this game, if not going forward for the Buccaneers. Now the Falcons from their own 44-yard line. Ryan pitches it out to Love, and he does not get out of the backfield. Tackled at the 40-yard line for a four-yard loss. Now out of the shotgun. Ryan back to pass. Can't find anybody open. On the run to the left. Has some room and somehow shakes a tackler and is inside Buccaneer territory. 12 yards after contact. The Falcons on the move again. Love with the carry inside the 40-yard line and finally tackled at the 35. That brings up a second and two. The ball given to Mason and he powers his way forward for a first down. Love in the backfield again. He gets the handoff and he's inside the 30 for a five-yard pickup. Now on third and two. Back to pass, Ryan completes it short, and it's another first down for the Falcons. William Golston has to have a little bit of attention from the training staff. Now at the 18 yard line, Love with a huge hole, and inside the 10 yard line he goes. The Falcons in the red zone again. In this ball game, the throw out to Mason and he does not get the first down stop by Devin White. Fourth and inches, they're going for it. And oh my goodness. Gage is stopped in the backfield. And that brings on the Buccaneer offense from the nine. Back to pass. Trask can't find anybody open and is finally sacked. Means gets to him back at the seven yard line. So second and 12 and it's Means again for a safety and it's 14 to nothing Falcons. And they're gonna get the ball because the Buccaneers have to free kick the ball. So from the 33 yard line, it's given to number 33 and he has a first down. From the 43 yard line now, Ryan takes the snap from under center, gives it to Love and he has another first down inside Buccaneer territory and Ridley is down. That could be disastrous for the passing attack of the Falcons. And Love takes it inside the 45. Third and five. Ryan with the pass and completely overshoots Geronimo Allison. So with three and a half minutes left, the Buccaneers get another shot. The throw complete, a big gain for Chris Godwin with the catch all the way out to the 45. Now second and 10. Trask throws complete. Tyler Johnson out of bounds at the 44 yard line of the Falcons. Now the Buccaneers on the move. And this is overshot. Mike Evans just wasn't tall enough to get to that one. So on fourth and 10, it's knocked away. Michael Walker with the breakup and the Falcons will take over once again. After another Falcon three and out, the Buccaneers get it back with 2.20 left on the clock. 
And this is complete to Bernard out of the backfield, out to the 30 yard line. And that takes us to the two minute warning. Trask out of the shotgun. Second and four, finds Bernard out of the backfield, fights his way for the first down at the 34. Another pass, short to Gronkowski to the 41. Second and three, the Buccaneers now in the hurry up offense. Pass downfield, broken up. Deron Harmon getting to that one. Trask back to throw again and completes this one to Godwin inside the 40 yard line for a first down. Another pass. This one completed to Evans. That's an eight yard pickup. Tampa Bay in the hurry up offense again. Bernard catches this one for a first down at the 27. Now the pass downfield, overshot completely. That brings up second and 10. Trask throws short. Fournette takes it down inside the 20 yard line. Time out. Tampa Bay. Eight seconds left on the clock and a completion inside the five yard line. And that is going to do it because Tampa Bay was out of timeouts. I know the Falcons path to the 14 points they put on the board was unconventional to say the least. But shutting out the Bucks is certainly a huge accomplishment for this defense. I understand that they lost Tom Brady in the third quarter but to be honest about it, he wasn't looking like the Tom Brady that we saw in Tampa just a few short weeks ago. The Falcon offense performed an outstanding feat today in keeping it out of the hands of Brady when he was in the game. Over a two to one ratio of time of possession <laughs> is awesome. Ryan only threw one touchdown but one can hardly bicker over what was accomplished. Almost hitting the 80% complete margin is an outstanding day and I'm sure would be the envy of any quarterback in the league. In his first week back with the Falcons, Cordero Patterson didn't get the top honors for most yards or even yards per carry which belonged to Bryce Love but you can tell the Bucks must have been keying on him when he was in the game because of his 54 yards. 53 of them were after contact. Amazing effort on his part. Turning to the defense, it's a little deceiving to see the first four tackle leaders as Buccaneers, but you have to remember that they were on the field for the lion's share of the game, which I would imagine got them tired early in the game. I did notice that Tampa Bay got in there for four sacks on Ryan, so I guess it was even more of an outstanding effort on his part to get the ball down the field. One would think that after a game like that, it'd be nice if Atlanta got an easier game to follow this one up, but, but not a chance. They go on the road to face another NFC South rival, the Carolina Panthers. Although the Panthers have fallen from first place in the beginning of the season to being in a three-way race for second in their division, Christian McCaffrey has been injured for a good portion of the season. But they do have the number seven passing offense in the NFL with Sam Darnold leading the charge. But here's the kicker. They'll be trying to keep up with the number three passing offense of the Falcons. This should be a good one. That's going to do it for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Atlanta as a whole played some solid football today, especially from a defensive standpoint. A shutout of the Bucks is no small feat. Can they play as well in Raleigh next week? 
The return of Patterson to the roster saw a big improvement in the rushing game today, but will that translate into a good showing next week, or will Matt Ryan need to have a game-saving effort against the Panthers? Be with us to find out when the Falcons fly into Bank of America Stadium. And until then, for Eurocat, Baby, and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone.